they know I'm coming. I know they gonna be there and they know I'm gonna do the best job I can possibly do. And they know beyond a shadow of a doubt, whatever hour he was doing when we last saw him, he won't be doing that hour when we see him this time. It's a whole new conversation. And because I've never strayed from that, they've never strayed from their part. I'm looking at some of the the, uh, the, the actors that you've been on screen with. Cube, Tracy Morgan, Regina Hall, Terrence Howard, these are, look, Nick Cannon, I mean, Tiffany. I mean, bro, who who brings out the best in Cat William? How, do, how does someone get the best out of Cat William? Do you need a comedian? Do you need a serious actor? How do we get the absolute best out of Cat Williams on screen? Well, I would be disingenuous if I didn't remind us that that's never anybody's goal. It's never anybody's goal to create a great situation for me to do a good job. Why? In, in a script. The way it works is the script is already there. This is a character in the script. If they give me the job, I make it my job that this character here, this character here has to be as big as this whole project. So if you don't even see the movie School Dance, I want you to remember, whose goddamn white baby is this? <laughs> and the only way that I can guarantee that you will remember my scene if you didn't remember a whole movie is if I make sure that my scenes are that good because that's what I watched. I watched great actors. You never saw De Niro. You never saw Pesci. You never saw any of these dudes in something. You was like, nah, I don't really believe it. You sure you're the great Gatsby? Like, no, like you believe that this dude, Daniel, is a hobbit. That's part of the Lord of the Rings. Right. You see what I'm saying? I and do. so I, it's a, having a respect for the craft that I'm doing. That means I got trying to do the best job.